beautiful sunrise. It goes all the way from over here to over there. It's so beautiful. It's amazing. This is truly it. A golden morning. Okay, wait. Here, let me hold on real quick. Good morning, it's time for us to celebrate, it's time for us, whoa, whoa, oh no, okay, hey, hey everybody, I, wait, Ooh, I had, ah, oh, damn it, I had auto-tune, but I think it went away. <laughs> Welcome, everybody. It's Googie Morning with Vacation Jason. I'm Vacation Jason, the world's number one vacation expert. I'm always on vacation, and I'm always getting Googie. And... <laughs> A big secret to the magic of staying googie is to begin your mornings by getting googie with a googie morning. The morning. The morning. The morning. The morning. Echo. Your day. One after another, after another, after another. Another and 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 another why not make your morning a googie morning? It's 11 a.m. in New York City, where I happen to be stationed right now, on my vacation right now. We don't have that much morning left. We have only, we have less than an hour left to make our mornings googie. And that is what we're going to do right now. Um, we have a couple of incredible very esteemed guests joining us from uh, Googie Morning today. We have the live chat room. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for participating. Thank you for being a part of my Googie Morning. Hopefully, I am part of yours. I guess I am if you're here. Thank you for being here. Thank you. As my guests, I promise to protect you. As my guests, I promise to uplift you. I promise to equalize you. You will have a voice in this show. You and I together will have a morning. You and I together will make that morning googie. Everyone has a morning, but not everyone is making sure that it's googie. We are creating a community of people making our mornings googier. Let's wait. Hold on. I just got to hit it one more time. Googier. Googier. Wait. There it is. Okay. So, as you know, I'm on vacation all the time. I vacation so much. I got sand in my blood. It's a problem. Ah, I do love it, though. So, as, as you know, that, 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 that. here's the thing. We're on a we're on an internet TV channel called Planet Scum. It's a living, like the little birds in the Flintstones would say. So we got to take care of some business. 
And look, you know I don't like business. The truth is, I don't even need this microphone anymore. I kind of like it, though. Uh, sound off in the chat room if this microphone is helping or hindering your experience. Um, so I came up with a segment where we could take care of the business early on in the show and then just, you know, when they ask business or pleasure at the airport, it'll be all pleasure after this little bit of business. So this is a segment. This is kind of the mullet style segment of the show. This segment is called business in the front. Party in the back. We've got three items of business to take care of, and then it's just going to be pleasure. So here we go. Little business beat. Okay. Business item number one. Googie Morning is brought to you by Planet Scum, a comedy network hosted by stand-up dramedian Chris Gethard. The pink support your show button on planetscum.live will direct you to our PayPal page. Your support keeps us afloat. You can specify which show you're sending money to using the drop-down menu. The money sent to Googie Morning will pay our host, guests, and producers. All leftover cash is currently being stored in the Vacation Jason treasure chest, which will be unlocked when there is enough money to buy a green screen backdrop. The majority of donations from viewers like you were in amounts of $0.69, cents, $6.09, and 4 20 so to everyone paying real money to keep this show going, I say, nice. Business item number two. Thursdays on Planet Scum aren't just for breakfast. Get your questions ready for Robbie Hoffman's Dyke Vice every Thursday night at 10 p.m. Eastern. Robbie prefers taking calls and giving advice to members of the LGBT community. You can still call in if you're a straight guy, but I guarantee she will not be thrilled about it. Tonight, Robbie's special guest will be your real-life dentist, so get your burning tooth questions ready. Also, why is your tooth burning? Does that mean somebody is talking about your smile? That's a pretty good joke. Hey, here's an idea for any Googie morning viewers uh, feeling extra Googie at 10 p.m. tonight during Dyke Buzz. If you're in the chat or on a call with Robbie Hoffman, ask her what kind of crossover episode she thinks she and Vacation Jason should do. Robbie Hoffman's Dyke Vice. It's advice from Robbie. 10 p.m. Eastern on Planet Scum. All right. Business in the front, item number three. This is a big announcement. Just found out yesterday. The full back catalog of the Chris Gethard Show on True TV is available on HBO Max. Relive some of Chris Genthar's most humiliating defeats as breakout comedic mastermind Vacation Jason charismatically steals the spotlight and charms celebrity guests. In episodes featuring John Mulaney, Wanda Sykes, Paul Rudd, Aubrey Plaza, Ellie Kemper, and hip-hop legend Method Man. If you have HBO Max, take a video of yourself watching me nail one of my world classic tropical punchlines. Look at the camera. Say something like, classic Vacation Jason. And then tag me, and then most importantly, tag Chris Gethard in the video on Instagram or Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter at Vacation Jason. On Instagram, at vacation.jason. Somebody got to the damn uh, vacation Jason before I did on Instagram. But that's okay. It's because I'm laid back. It's because I don't care. Ah, 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 ah. Okay. That's business in the front. Now it's all party in the back, baby. Um, oh. Okay. Before I introduce our very special guest for Googie Morning, I have one more call to action for all Googie Morning viewers. And sidebar, we're going to be opening up the discussion of what your name should be, the audience, what we're going to call you. You're not going to be weirdos. You're not going to be uh, garbage people. We're going to think of a nice, uplifting morning name for you, the Googie Morning viewers. But, here, but, but I'm just going to call you Googie Morning viewers for now. Here's what we need. I need you to think about morning. Don't overthink it. But think about your morning. And when you do, I want you to Google image search what morning means to you. What you think of when you think of morning. Tweet it at Planet Scum. And then we'll put up the photos and we'll talk about your mornings. We'll talk about what morning means to all of us. And with that, I believe it's time 
to introduce, to invite, to welcome our very special Googie Morning guest from New York City with the bombastic voice and the great, wonderful laugh that I hope to hear today. You've seen him in Clon 3. You've seen him on Christy Cello's CGP episodes, also known as Sky Daddy. Please welcome David Ray Martinez. Hey, good morning. Oh, hold yeah. on. Hey, good morning. I, I got a microphone, too. How do I sound with the microphone? You sound great with the microphone. Oh, man. Hey, I, you know what? I think this is a great idea, having a microphone. Why not? This is it a makes show. It, it makes the show look official. Well, I can't do that. That, 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 that. that, that, that. Oh, yeah, that. I, have the, I have the effects. Wait, where are you? You have the effect, 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 effect. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. My What's computer. Up, y'all? How you doing? Sky Daddy, doing where's Sky Sun? Sky Sun? Sky Sun is still sleeping. I'll get to him in a minute. We'll we'll go see how he's doing in a minute. I just want to say what's up to Jason Vacation. Jason. David Ray Martinez, it's a it's a pleasure and an honor to have you this morning. Oh man, thank you so much. Uh I woke up early and you sent the text and I was like, why is he texting me so early? I guess he's on, you know, he's on vacation time, you know. Yes, I'm currently on Hawaii time. I woke up at 8 a.m. Hawaii time. I believe, uh, I think that's 5 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, so that, I was pretty, I was pretty annoyed. But I was like, you know, it's vacation, Jason, you know, so I'm here for you, brother. You gotta. You got it. We're gonna be here for you. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, David. How? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what? I woke you up. What, how was your morning? What, what? What's a morning like for you? Oh, a uh, normal morning. A normal morning is waking up, uh, going to the bathroom, straight to the bathroom, because I'm I'm at that 43, going on 44 this year. Woo, you gotta pee. You gotta you gotta let it go. Let it go, let it go. Um, but yeah, I basically just wake up and then I jump on my phone because I normally have too many notifications of things that are going on, which is wow. weird and, and annoying too because I'm just like, I'm just a normal motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm just a normal guy. Yeah, but it mostly, most of them are emails. But most of them are emails. Most of them are emails. Oh, that's my son just scribbling around back there. Oh, here he is. <laughs> There he is. Sebastian, you're supposed to be on the show with me. Oh. You forgot? Yes. <laughs> Good morning, Sebastian. Hello. Good morning, morning, my friend. Squeeze in here. Squeeze in there. Uh, does that, is that working? Yeah, it's working. It's on. The microphone is actually on. This is yeah. your, this is your Wait, little this, amp. This is actually, this is really, this is incredible here. We are witnessing right now someone experiencing their morning right here. Normally he wakes up at two or three at this point. Wow. Um, he yeah, he, what time did you go to sleep last night? After four o'clock in the morning, right? Um, I was watching TV. I was watching Grimm. I've been watching Grimm. Uh, it used to be a show on NBC. So I was watching that till about three and change to 3.30. I told him to go to sleep. I wake up at 4 10 because he's like, Daddy, put your mask on because I sleep with a CPAP machine because I told you I'm old. And I got C, uh, what's that called? Sleep. I sleep with yeah, apnea. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so he's like, Daddy, put your mask on. Daddy, put your mask on. And I was like, Okay. And I was like, Sebastian, it's 4 10. And he was like, Okay, I'm going to sleep. But who knows what time he went to sleep because he knew once I put my mask on, I passed out. So it doesn't even make any sense. You did go to sleep? I don't go. I, don't, I always go to sleep when you tell me to go to sleep. <laughs> the sweetest kid alive. He always goes to sleep when I tell him go to sleep. You better. Because I'll beat the kids. I just, just to let you know, I'll beat them. What? I mean, I do. I, I beat him in the past. I haven't beat him in a long time. His thighs are too big. Wow. He's a big kid. Some massive ass thighs. I'll show you the thighs later. Not it's now. Almost, it's almost time for retaliation. Yeah. No, I'm not afraid of retaliation. My mother always told me if someone is going to hit you, 
sleep. You better not stay in this house because I'm gonna hit you while you're sleeping. <laughs> wow. Yeah. My mother says if my mother said because my father was a was semi abusive. Shout out to my dad. Um, and, <laughs> and he and, and last time he hit my mother and she said if you ever touch me ever again don't sleep in it. Like, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? And my mother's like, okay, if you ever touch me again, don't sleep. And he never touched her again because he knew my mother don't play that. And then he also got, he, that same week, he also got his neck broken by four men. So who knows <laughs> what happened? I didn't know that. Wow. Didn't know that. That's why my dad, my dad can't turn his neck. My dad, this is my dad driving a car. He has to turn his whole body <laughs> to, to back up. So yeah. So basically, he, uh, that's a Michael Keaton Batman yeah. situation. Yeah. So he literally he was in like my mother had a puree food and stuff. I was like, see, that's old school love because I would have just peed on him or something or did something, you know. <laughs> wow. Well, I cannot speak to you endorsing the circumstances. I respect your mother for standing her ground and refusing to be physically harmed anymore. That's right. Yeah, no, it's true. You know, that's the only thing I have issues with, like, you know, people with, uh, my mother's super churchy, so she was like, God said, and I'm like, nah, God, God didn't say get your ass beat. <laughs> that's not in the Bible. Is it in the Bible? Did you ever read that in the Bible? No. Yeah. And he went, and he goes to Catholic school, so he knows. So you know. But anyway, but anyway, let's get off of this subject. <laughs> okay. I think but now. Yeah, but more, but more than a good and uh, I get to see this beautiful face right here. You know what I'm saying? This beautiful kid right here. Life-changing kid. I love this guy. I don't know. If he wasn't here, I don't know what I would do. I'd probably sleep even more than I'm sleeping now. That's it? Yeah, you just be sleeping more and that's it? Well, yeah, it's good he's there, there, man. Uh, we needed you here. We needed a guest. You're so okay. happy. I am happy. I am <laughs> I am admittedly at a loss for words. I've forgotten every segment that I had planned. Oh, oh man, no. Um, we was gonna sing a song. Yes, cause, okay. Cause every morning, you should be singing a song, right? It's a great way to start the day. Yeah. So, this so, yeah, morning. Is, is this a father-son song? Is this one, is this one uh, vocalist or two? Is this a duet or a solo? Two, 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 it's a duet. So he'll back me up when I need some help. Scoot over a little, because this way, this oh. way to me. Yeah. So we got eight together. Me and you together. This is not the song. <laughs> when I wake up in the morning, I feel booty booty. Sometimes I have a headache and that makes me feel booty booty. I love my son, but he's a little booty booty. When am I going to work? I don't know. Booty, booty. Maybe I'll never go to work and I'll stay with my... Booty, booty. I'm really old and I dream of... Booty, booty. <laughs> I'm on Tinder because I'm trying to get some... Booty, booty. <laughs> what are you trying to get? Booty, booty. You don't have no booty, booty songs? Booty, booty. You... Don't, oh, you have... No. Don't you have... <laughs> I forgot you did just wake up, so I'm sorry. When I wake up this morning, I smell booty booty. When I wake up, I hear booty booty. I hear a lot of booty booty. I ooh 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 booty booty. Yeah, it stinks. Booty booty. Ain't shower in days. Booty booty. Ooh 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 booty booty. You passing the mic back to my booty booty. I'm so old. I smell like booty booty. I wish I had a woman so I could have some booty. booty. All right, guys, that's enough. that's enough about booty. So much booty out here. Booty, 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 hey, booty, 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 yeah, um, but, but it was something that, yeah, we've been going over some ideas. I think we're going to start a, you know, at a, an advice show, you know, him and I, advice from a, from a teen and a 
Old Negro, something like that. I don't know. The t- we don't know the title yet. We're, it's a working title. It's a working, it's a working title. title. I mean, Booty Booty is is not a bad title for a show. That's very true. We should call our show Booty Booty. We're going to probably get the wrong audience. But, uh, That's you true. Know what? Yeah, especially if it's a family. <laughs> You're gonna have people throwing singles at our at our screen constantly. I <laughs> wouldn't be so bad. I'm I'm looking. I mean, uh, you know, as as much as we are trying to deconstruct the society that revolves around the American dollar, I am accepting American dollars to help pay for this show and my guest today. Um, amen. Amen. Let's deconstruct this song a little bit. Not yes. too far. We're not going to poke that frog, but let's let's at least concerning the morning aspects of it. Yeah. When you wake up in the morning and you smell like booty booty. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Uh, makes you feel nasty because you ain't you took you ain't take a shower last night and you smell like booty booty. Now we discussed this a little bit last week. I think I discussed this, but uh, I've been doing these wacky breathing exercises invented by a crazy Dutch man that helped me withstand extremely cold temperatures. So I will train my breathing and then take a cold shower. Have you ever taken a cold shower? When there Uh, ain't no heat. When there ain't no heat. When there's no hot water, you mean? Oh, when there's no hot water at grandma's house. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we've taken some cold showers. You know how buildings do. You know, we live in a a co-op in the Harlems. But, uh, yeah, sometimes there's no heat. And you gotta, it's that quick wash, you know, that, <laughs> especially when it hits your back. Why is it worse in your back? In your back is the worst part. The cold hits it and it's just like, okay, now let's automatically go into shock. So, uh, yeah, so I've taken cold showers, not of choice though. I've never, no one has ever made me feel like I need to take a cold shower. Well, welcome to the first person to make you. I'm telling you, David, and Sebastian, when you when you gradually enter that cold water with maybe just your hands first, and then maybe one foot, and then maybe the other, and you breathe instead of breathing like this, and you breathe like this, and you stay breathing like that. Your body is able to withstand the cold as if it's not actually that bad. It takes training. It takes patience. It takes time yeah. to build that up. Mm-hmm. But eh, if you don't want to try it, it's okay, too. That's fine. I'm not going to push anything on you guys. Uh, okay. I thought you was going to go try it. So actually got up and left. I thought he was going to go in the shower. Like, you want to try it right now? Don't. <laughs> don't. I don't want. I don't want to see it, please. <laughs> He'll keep his drawers on. <laughs> I was not. I was not sure we were going to get that guarantee, but now, yeah, let's. Yeah, okay, fine. Let's go. <laughs> I got it because I couldn't see. Yeah, he was blind. <clears throat> so no, but but I'll definitely try that technique. I mean, especially summer's coming. And that cool down, you know, that super cool down is very important to do it in the summer, you know, because it's. Yeah, uh, you know, that's what I'm about. Oh. I'm about cooling down, cooling down the body and the mind, I guess. I mean, you're always on vacation. So that's like when you go to the outside beaches and pools, they have the shower outside. To cool down, so. Yeah, that's the only kind of shower I use. Oh, did we lose your audio? I don't know. Someone was trying to call me. Oh. <laughs> well, you, um, would would you like to? Uh, now that we've hold got. Hold on. Oh, okay. What's Please going on? Hold. I don't know. I can't hear you. Though. Someone <laughs> trying to call me, and the volume went down. Oh, yeah, we're still accepting uh, tweets of uh, pictures of what you associate with your morning so we can help you unpack and have a better... Hey, vacation, Jason, can you hear me? Yes. All right, you can hear me. I kind of can't hear you. 
Oh no, what happened? I don't know. I don't know. Someone tried to call in my phone and then my phone the the, the volume went down. Does it help me by the no, 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 it's not your side, it's my side. I can, I can, I can, I can make it louder like this. I can also, I can, I can put an echo on it. It's completely my side. I mean, I'm, I'm going I'm to jump back out and come right back in. Is that okay? What? I said I'm going to jump out and come back in. Oh, okay. Yeah, give me two seconds. Okay, yeah, that's fine. I'll do a segment. While David figures out his, uh, his uh, business call. Okay, let's see. Don't forget to support the... Oh, okay. Yeah, Chris got their bunch to support the show. Which I do, too. Um, this is a good time to do a segment. We've talked about showers. We've sung a little bit. We've gotten the spirit lifted. It's now time for breakfast. I have two breakfast segments today. The first one is yet another salute... To fruit. Now, this week's Salute to Fruit is not a poem that I wrote, but is in fact a poem written by a much uh, more established poet in the world of uh, Salute Fruits. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that, baby. That's okay. Can you hear me? I hear you. You sound amazing, brother. Thank you so much. I put the microphone effects back on. And Ooh. we are now entering a new segment. A salute to fruit. This week's salute to fruit was not written by me, but rather one of the greatest poets of all time. <laughs> salute to fruit. Mr. Pablo Neruda. Oh, <coughs> Can you guys sing like a quick jingle while I go grab uh, some necessary items? Uh, what would you like me to sing a jingle about? Uh, about, how about uh, a salute to the fruit theme song? Oh, say can, can you, you see, see by the fruits fruit early life? What so proud? Do you know the national anthem? No, I was trying to sing Oh, oh, say can, can you see. We're taking the knee for that. You sing in the room. I was trying. Okay, guys. Okay, sorry. We were trying, but I know it was. It was. We was actually. I was messing up. I was singing the actual national anthem. I was not criticizing your performance of the national anthem, but more the implications of saluting uh, an illegitimate the American dream. You know what I mean? Uh. I know, and that's why uh, it is a. It, well, let's not get political. Yeah, let's not. Get okay. <laughs> yeah, I just want to be free, y'all. We just want to be free, free to eat fruit the way we eat fruit. Shall we? Um, shall we do a salute to fruit with a poem by Pablo Neruda? <laughs> <laughs> yes, why not? This poem, I've, I've, I've listened to this poem being spoken out loud many times by the clown doctor Patch Adams in a talk that he gives called What is Your Love Strategy? And as an example of uh, love being everywhere and possible for everything, he delivers this poem by Pablo Neruda called A Lemon. A Lemon. Mm. Poem goes like this. Out of lemon flowers, loosed on the moonlight, love laughed and insatiable essences, sodden with fragrance, the lemon tree yellow emerges. The lemons move down from the trees. Planetarium, delicate merchandise. The harbors are big with it, bizarre. For the light and the barber's gold, we open the halves, a miracle. And a clotting of acids to the brim. Performance art, baby. I don't want to cut myself. Okay. Uh, into the stammy divisions, creations, original juices, irreducible, changeless, alive. Ah! 
So the freshness lives on in a lemon, in the sweet-smelling house of the rind. The proportions are cane and a serve. Cutting the lemon, the knife leaves a little cathedral, alcoved, unguessed by the eye, that opens the assiduous glass to the light, topazes, rioting the droplets, alters aromatic facades. So when the hand holds the cut of the lemon, half a world on a trencher, the gold of the universe wells to your touch, a cup of yellow with miracles, a breast and a nipple, a flashing made of fruitage, the diminutive fire of a planet, a lemon. <laughs> yeah, a baby. A lemon, guys. Yeah. Something I love about that poem is that that, baby. Uh, it's about a lemon, not the lemon, but a lemon, any lemon Whoa. can be appreciated and elevated to that point. I tend to right. I do that with every lemon I come encounter with. You know what? You've made me look at lemons differently now. That's weird, man. Sorry. I'm so know, glad that's... you do that. No, thank you. I really appreciate it because it's it's hard looking at fruit and not. What are you doing? What are you doing? This is this is. Why are you talking doing? to the fruit right now when you say that? I was talking to my son. Oh, okay. Um, he was playing with vitamins. For what reason? I don't know. Let's let's look at the vitamin. Let's see if we can elevate a vitamin the same way we elevate a lemon. It's old people vitamins. It's it's oh, where's my camera? Therapeutic. Okay, here we go. Uh, therapeutic. Do you want do you want to deliver a, a poem? Um, therapeutic. Therapeutic multivitamins makes me feel very fit and man. You know what else is good? Yes. Vitamin A, B, C, D, and E. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it make me feel really happy. Oh, yeah. I really need some ginkgo caloba. Would be Ooh. really good for me. But sometimes I take lenticin to make me feel... What? This is a poem about Vitamins, not about fruit. You got oh, a pear. Sebastian, may I invite bring you to pair. Bring the, bring the the, pair. The, the pair. Make a pair with a poem with poetry? Do so a book do poetry about pear. The bottom of the pear looks like a butt. And the top is skinny. Pears. And at the top is short. Pears. Pears can be any color. Green, slight yellowish green pears. I like them. They also are white. Hey. They also have look like they have jaundice disease. Also, I don't know what that is. jaundice what? is a yellowing of the of your skin or eyes. Anyway, yeah, pears. Bye, pears. <laughs> We did it. We did it. Lemons, vitamins, and pears. What a breakfast. Yeah. This reminds me. We now have a segment. This is a segment from last week we're revisiting. Breakfast, it's the most important meal of the day. We know breakfast is important, but we don't want it to get too full of itself. That's why we got to roast our breakfast. We got to slam it. We got to do a breakfast grand slam. Not Denny's. Unless they want to sponsor us. So I have one breakfast grand slam today. We're going to go around all the bases. And then if you guys want to do a breakfast grand slam, you may. If you think that's a, if you think it's a bad segment, which it is, we can just skip it. Today's breakfast grand slam is dedicated to oatmeal. First base, instant oats, right? Oatmeal that's ready in less than 60 seconds. You know what would be even better? Oatmeal that's gone in 60 seconds. This stuff takes too long to eat. Mm. <laughs> that's something I never say while eating oatmeal. Mm. 
You don't know how to make it right then. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into that. <laughs> sorry. Second base. Steel cut oats. No, you know what? Give me director's cut oats. Extended scenes, alternate camera angles, maybe a blueberry. Anything to make this stuff less boring. Got anything to say to that? Yeah, I mean, I like I like the route, uh, but yeah, I really like third base. Third base, yes. Go ahead. What is it? Oh no, go ahead. He's going into the third thing he loves about oatmeal. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Roll those. Roll. <laughs> now, where have I heard this phrase before? Oh yeah, stop, drop, and roll, which is exactly what I do every time I'm handed a bowl of oatmeal. I stop. I drop it on the ground. Roll those on the ground. Oh, I then have to clean up because I'm responsible for my own mess. Thank you very much. Got to say that. Is there a fourth thing? Yes, there is. <laughs> home plate. Or should I say home bowl? Because that's what oatmeal served in. A bowl at home. Oat? Meal? This is not a meal. It's an ingredient. You need a name change, oatmeal, and that is a breakfast grand slam. Um, I feel like Bill Maher. Um, oatmeal. My oatmeal is good. I, I doctor it up. I make it really good. So I don't know what you're doing with your oatmeal. Um, or the people or the people giving you oatmeal. Today, when this is over, I'm gonna make you some oatmeal. I'm gonna make you oatmeal and you're gonna come on here and you're gonna be like, Wow, I've never had such great oatmeal. I'll Sometimes I must bananas in it. You know, it's That's delicious. Good. Yeah, I make it I make it muy delicioso. Today's oatmeal was not my best. I've done oatmeal better in the past, but today's was just oats, peanut butter, and jelly. Not too good. Do you soak? Sometimes you um, with uh, oatmeal, you can soak it overnight, and that gives it a really good, um, like, yeah. I'm sorry. I, I don't okay. need, I don't I need have to apologize for my bad oatmeal. Yesterday's was better. I did uh, oatmeal, walnuts, cinnamon, banana, Pretty good. Okay. So breakfast grand slam. So it's basically <clears throat> stating four things about breakfast. Yeah, but you gotta go in on like you gotta humiliate this breakfast item. You gotta slam it. Oh, okay. So oh, right? no no no. Any, not, oh, any, any kind of food. Um dragon fruit? No, any kind of breakfast food. So I guess a breakfast food. Mm. Any kind of food? No, breakfast food. So I'm going to go with. <clears throat> cereal? No, not just cereal, the bootleg cereal. cereal. I did cereal last week. It was great. You did cereal last week? Okay, yeah. so I don't want to slam. I don't want to do slamming the same thing. Ow. So I'm going to so go with hash browns. Oh, man. Take them to town. Hash browns. Are you really that great? Why am I paying a dollar oh eight for something that doesn't cost a dollar oh eight? This is a piece of potato. Are you even it. Yeah. I can I can make hash I can make thirteen hash browns out of one potato. Dunkin' Donuts. These hash browns is nasty. Who buys hash browns at Dunkin' Donuts? This this show is not sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts, right? Um, so yeah, hash browns. Anytime have you had this show is not also sponsored by Denny's. Denny's hash browns, the worst. Some of the worst. 
hash browns I've ever tasted. And I'm like, this is how do you mess up potatoes? How? By ordering it at Denny's. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you do that. Um, I didn't number them, but I think there's um, there's more to hash browns. Frying it, I love almost everything fried, except for hash browns. Is it just one gigantic bad French fry? I think that's what hash browns are, depending on where you get it. Well, some people they they do like the griddles. I don't know. Some people they uh, deep fry. If they're deep fried, I guess it's like a big. Well, you, oh, like the hash browns at McDonald's that that pack. Yeah. Yeah, that's just a big, that's a big French fry. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Can you go? Are you hungry? Yeah, we are hungry. We no, not hungry. Can you go? Where well, you want to go do something? So go ahead, go do what you need to do. Sebastian, before you go, Sebastian, I need you to promote your new comedy project that's in the works. <laughs> Let the people know. Ideas. Oh, so my new comedy project. Yeah. 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 It's going to be about me and my father. Giving uh, advice to him, and he's gonna he's gonna be the quote unquote uh, director of the show, uh, but then he is gonna have no control over it. <laughs> and then it's gonna be like, oh, welcome to the Dave Ray Martinez. I like, know. <laughs> wow, thanks, Sebastian. And then and then after what is that, the name we, of the show? Um. Is that's a work in progress? Oh, I, I thought I thought uh, I thought your dad sent a really good name of the show, and uh, it made me excited to see it. Um, two turkeys? I don't know. We don't know yet. That's okay. <laughs> but I thought but, it was called like comedy miracle or something. Oh no, no, I don't. I, uh, that might have been a while ago. We've been. Working on some different titles. Got so, it. My bad. Yeah, every day we wake up and we're in a different mood. So I can relate to that. Googly morning. How do you pronounce your show? Googie? Googie? Yeah, Googie. Googie morning. Oh, Googie morning. Googie morning. It's something uh, go that's Googie that's morning to you, sir. Googie morning to you, sir. Ah, Googie morning to you. A googie wait hold on. A googie wait. Oh, I got the lemon hat. A googie morning to you. <laughs> <laughs> a hat to you. I, I tip my chopstick to you. A googie morning to you. <laughs> I tip my knife to you. Ow, I just stab myself in the head. Okay. A googie morning to you. Old telephone. Oh, googie, googie morning to you. My, uh, my roll of tape. <laughs> Uh, oh. a, good morning, a good morning to you, an ointment. Oh, oh good morning to you, Maya. Maya. Oh, 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 a, a googie morning to you, sir. PlayStation joystick. All right, that was good. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Do we have... Let, let's pull it... Okay, Sebastian, if you got to run, if you got a big, busy day, at least you had a googie morning. I appreciate you being here. Unless you don't believe anymore. Oh, no, no, no. When he said he had to go, he want, he meant he wanted to talk about, you wanted to talk about breakfast then? Uh, oh, no. I wanted to say the poem about the um the pair. Oh, you want to say Oh, wait. Not, not the poem about the pair. What he asked me about the show. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I don't know what you were doing. All right. Yeah, whatever you want to do. Let's, yeah. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. Oh. Uh, uh, breakfast food, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. So my father talked about hash browns. I got something else to talk about. Oh man. I would like to talk about pancakes. pancakes. Here we go. They're so good, pancakes. 
Waffles? What's the difference? They have, they're disgusting. They may not be the same thing, but are worse. How? They got the same amount of syrup on one of them? Nasty. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Take them to town. Waffles have a waffle maker. Where the pancake maker at? <laughs> Where the pancake maker at? <laughs> Good morning. All right, second base. Why can't I order them at Starbucks? Because they're nasty. Oh, they got waffles and eggs. I mean, pancakes and eggs. They ain't got waffles and eggs because they're nasty. Devastating. Nasty waffles. They, they, they look so good sometimes, and then they're not. That's true. Get them at Denny's. Get them at IHOP. Do IHOP even sell waffles? Because they nasty. Mm -hmm. Some? Some? Yeah, they do. They, they got do. a Belgian waffle. But, 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 they, but they're never... I, I mean, I, I don't want to jump in on your thing, but yeah, they're never good at those places. It's overrated. You go for the pancakes. And why are waffles always... Why do they have all those little boxes? It's yeah, I'm trying to box me in. Yeah. It's supposedly to hold the syrup in, I think. Oh, so they're like little syrup compartments? Yeah, that's yeah. what they say. The that's what they tell you. But the syrup compartments are only uh, homeless shelters for the syrup. And that's why they don't taste like that. <laughs> they're a homeless shelter for the syrup. Yes. That's what it tastes like. Mm. Where's the... Oh, sorry. Yeah, I don't know. But uh, Waffle. waffles, baby. Mm. That no, was a I don't. Grand Slam. Yeah, that was good. Well done, Sebastian. Thank you. Yeah, good job. Good job. Give it up for Sebastian and his breakfast Grand Slam. We're cutting waffles down to size, but we're not eating them because enough already. Waffles, you had your chance. Right? Trying to be trying to be like a pancake and just can't. Now, guys, I have something important I want to talk to you about. Um, I was yesterday on something that's very important to me. I take a morning walk. Uh -huh. I like to walk in the morning. Get some yeah. fresh air. Mm -hmm. Not too many people out so I can easily social distance. And I can be connected to nature a little bit. I can look at the sky right up into infinity. But as I was looking up and then looking down, side to side, crossing the street, looking at my beautiful feet, I noticed something on the sidewalk. As I took a left turn in my neighborhood that I didn't normally take, I was just letting the day happen to me. I was open with zero expectations. And what should I see when I take that left turn? A little graveyard. There's a graveyard in my neighborhood, but a tiny one. It's got maybe, I want to say, 30 gravestones. It's just on the corner. It's like a yard but with graves in it. A graveyard, you know. There's a fence around it. And then next to the fence, the sidewalk. Everyone knows the sidewalk. It's the side of the street that you walk on. Mm -hmm. And then there's a little patch of grass. The little patch of grass right before you get to the street, you know, what should be on that patch of grass? And guys, I do not condone picking up every random thing off the street. But I had to pick this up just to know if it was real. And it was real. I took it home, fully intact, in really good condition. But across the sidewalk from this graveyard, and this is a true story. Yesterday, I picked up a special edition DVD box set of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. This is all three movies ex extended. 
the extended edition, not theatrical, but specifically cut. The These are the director's cut. You want steel cut oats? These are director's cut movies. Look. And they were just sitting in a patch of grass by a, a cemetery? Yeah. Here, look. I'm trying to arrange them how they were, how, how I saw them. It was like this. It looked like this. They were just kind of poking out of the box. And there's three boxes. Each box is one of the movies, right? Yeah. Each movie has four discs. Jesus Christ. I know. Or should I say Gandalf the Grey? I don't know. Um, <laughs> what was the Eye of Sauron? Yeah. Eye of Sauron. Man, I would love to see you. To pay condolences to someone, and they yeah, maybe someone like, just wanted. <laughs> maybe someone just wanted to bury the movies out of yeah. their life. So there's that. That brings me to my point because I brought it home because what a score, right? But then I started thinking about the implications. I just picked up a DVD box set outside of a graveyard, and not only that, they're movies about a ring. A magic ring. Yeah. And there was a there was a horror movie called The Ring about a video that you played and then you died. <laughs> yeah. And so now I think I have to watch all eighty hours of footage of these long movies and these long documentaries about the movies, or I'm gonna die. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. you don't watch your 80, uh, stay, um, so then your name will become Staycation Jason? Oh, this or is like, a <laughs> Or Isolation Jason? I mean, it could be argued that we are already at that point. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying with the 80 hours, that's like two full work weeks. I'll... I don't know what a work week is, so you're going to have to explain. Oh, I'm sorry. So... Normal people, unlike you, people who work every day, they basically work, you know, anywhere between 35 to 40 hours uh, a week. I know, sounds disgusting. I'm sorry. That doesn't and seem fair. Like, yeah, it doesn't seem fair. Why um, would you? You're going to eat on camera. You're going to eat on camera. He's eating his pear. It's okay. It's breakfast time. It's googly morning. Googly morning. <laughs> Let's get it. Can we get morning? Look on the other end. Oh my! Oh my! My piece of cake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sanitize yourself. Oh, sanitize. there's a little cup for my son. <laughs> um, but yeah, so so yeah, work is something that um, yeah, don't ever learn about it. Vacation, Jason. No, you're so lucky. You're so lucky. I'm also, gonna... may I say, may I say, you're. It is so beautiful behind you. That sunrise, half set, is beautiful, man. It's a new day. It's a new googie morning. We got this beautiful sun. The rays are shining. We got the mm. water, the crystal clear water, the burnt sienna sand. Wow. Like Creola. So no, um, it's not a window, Eric Germ. This is a drawing. I, this is my artistic interpretation of what the morning is. Oh, speaking of which, um, Jess, I know you're not a morning person, but can we pull up some images of, that people have been tweeting at Planet Scum of what morning means to them? Yeah, scum. I can do that. Good for morning, you. Jess. Oh, Jess. Good what, what, morning. what time is it over there? It's not even 9 a.m. where I'm at. Oh, guys, yeah, she's not a morning person, but she's been producing this show anyway. And she's having a good time. Everybody That's helpful. Somebody send Jess 75 cents. Please, I need some coffee. Speaking of coffee, we do have some um, images from Twitter. So let's take a look at what we got for Googie Mornings. 
Give me some coffee to change the things I can and let me change the things I can't. Wow, this looks like something I uh, wrote. <laughs> I guess that's why they tweeted it. That's clever. That's like a prayer, but for coffee in the beach. Give me coffee to change the things I can. Do you drink coffee, Sebastian? Yes. Oh, how do you take your coffee? Oops. Um, a few sugars and uh, a little bit of milk and a uh, coffee creamer. Light and sweet, probably. Wow. Good to know. I don't drink, I don't drink coffee. I my, mother used to, my mother always told me coffee makes you stupid, so I didn't drink coffee. Then why does grandma drink coffee every morning? <laughs> she drinks like five cups a day. It was because we were poor and she was saving it for herself. That's what I've come to realize. Okay, I am entranced by this image right here. <laughs> Breakfast in bed. It's Catterday. No, go ahead and take your time. Okay, wait, who is who is saying what? Is the cat in the white text? And then who, who is, no, go ahead and take your time. Is that me? Is that is that the owner of the cat? This is getting me mad. <laughs> it is true. Like, who's saying what? I mean, I guess, I guess the cat is saying breakfast in bed, please. It's Catterday. A lazy orange cat. What a mm. cat. Mm. Garfield. Okay. Who submitted this? Is this what your life is like? <laughs> These images are getting me worked up. Relax, relax, vacation. You're right, Jason. you're right. You're right. Vacation. Gotta take a look at the beach. You're right. Your vacation. Relax, man. <laughs> relax, buddy. Relax. I relax. Are those the two images that we had? Is there, is there one more? There's got to be more because, you know, there's a lot of... Jess, Jess, I need you. That's all we have so far. We need to get more in. All right. Oh, if that was it, then that's it, Jess. Thank you Thanks, so much. Yes. Happy morning. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Good go, go morning, go morning to you, Jess. Jess. Wait, Jess, can you come back? Look, What's up, Jason? Hey, I know you're not I know you're not a morning person, but can you do can you do like one of those gooby mornings that me and David are doing? Maybe it'll make you feel better. <laughs> Breathing. Cold water. Oh no, but like like David, you do you, you know the game that we were doing, you do one. Okay. Um, uh, um what do I have here? Uh breakfast food. A, a googie morning to you, my lady, with Vaseline. Oh, good morning to you with the little twist. Good morning to uh, you. A good morning with a pen. Yes. Good morning Wait, with a Bible. I, I got it. <laughs> Wait. Good morning with a controller. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, get him, Jess. Good morning with my oatmeal. Oh, yeah. A googie morning with the Xbox 360 control uh, headset. <laughs> yes, do you have a breakfast grand slam for your oatmeal? I do. Um, oatmeal. I'm sorry. Mush? Bro. Just mush? <laughs> That's first base. Five, Second five. base, oh. why do I need more ingredients to add to my oatmeal to make it edible? Yes. Third base. It gets cold way too fast. True. Cold mush. That's crazy. Home base. She's going all the way home. I'm hungry. Like 10 minutes later. It's like nothing. <laughs> What's the deal with oatmeal? What's the deal with oatmeal? Thank you, Jess. That was a superb <laughs> breakfast grain plan on the mush. Much, uh, the mush that is oatmeal. The much, the much mush. I appreciate the platform, to be honest. Thank you for having me. We'll have you back anytime because you are the one making the show happen. <laughs> Bye. Bye -bye. Bye, -bye. So, Bye. I think our final, this is going to be an ongoing segment until it is concrete. I don't know if we're going to solve this all in one fell swoop. But David, I want I want to get your opinion on this, and I want to hear from the people watching. What mm -hmm. shall be the name, 
the collective group moniker of those who come together to, sorry, I burped. Uh, try this again. What are we, <laughs> we going to call everybody watching Googie Morning and having a Googie Morning together? Googie bootlegs. Googie booties? Oh, Googie booties. Googie booties. <laughs> Googie yeah, booties. Um, Googify, that's pretty cool. I was thinking, um, uh, because I was out at the graveyard yesterday, I thought Googie Mourners, but that's a little too dark. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that, that, that's pretty good. Good. I mean, yeah, we are, we are, we are in mourning of a day no longer uh, with us, yeah. and, and we are acknowledging that there is a new Googie Morning in front of us. Ah, that's a little convoluted. Yeah, very true. Because think about it, you know, you only have X amount of morning and it dies. It dies that afternoon every day. It's the first part of the day that we say goodbye to. Yeah, it dies and then it's reborn at midnight, which is also weird. It's fleeting. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, someone suggested Googie Morning as in, you know, morning should be the name of the after show. Mm. Yeah, there we go. That's good. We got, uh, what was it, uh, Goog think, um, what are we calling it, Googers? Nah, I think, I think you already hit it. I think it's, I think it's Googie. Uh, the Mourners? Yeah, I really do. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. It's in the, it's in the, it's in the, it's hot, it's the top running right now. Yeah. The Goog Mourners. Yeah, because I think everything else doesn't feel right. It was the one to make you laugh a lot, which is a good sign. A bunch of people who hate work and think vacations are more fun than they are. Sounds like we have a hater. What? Sounds like there's a hater in the chat. Wait, wait, someone who thinks vacations are more fun than they are. I got news for you, buddy. It's up to you to decide how fun the vacation is. Right. If your if your vacation it's is all the vacations, yeah, like every day is a vacation. Thank you. You know, like I'm not staycation, Jason. That's why I'm not isolation, Jason. Mm. Because I'm still on vacation. Nice. But inside, though, this is my little feet yeah. paddling away in my mind because yeah. they're always in the water. You know what? I mean, I actually, I actually. I'm, you know, even though I, I respect you and I do love you a lot, vacation. This is a great time. setup to a very heartbreaking statement. I, I kind of, I kind of hate vacation, not because of the actual going on vacation. Jen, I hate. Here, Jen. Hold, 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 hold on, vacation, Jason. It's, it's the people I go with. So I think I have to change my crowd because I think what happens on vacation, people are like, "Let's go here, let's go there," and I. If I've been working for many hours, I just want to go to sleep. I just want to relax my bones. I want to go to the beach at like three, four o'clock. I still got five hours of sun time and relax my bones. I don't I don't see the need to like be running around. Let's go see this building. Like who cares? It's a building. Oh, yeah. Let's go to the Eiffel Tower for what? It's a structure of metal. I don't need to see it, you know? I want to see the sun, I want some beach. Well, you, I mean, the first mistake is you went to Paris. I thought he, I, yeah. You're not gonna Probably see not. The in Paris, I don't think. Yeah, I mean, so maybe that's a tribe called Googie. I mean, that's very, that's close. I mean, but that's very much a play on Tribe Called Quest. I like that in the chat. A tribe called Googie has power. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Now, now, David, I will, I, I will say. At first, I was about to say we're not friends anymore. <laughs> mm -hmm. What was that? You're now, not friends anymore. After hearing you out. After hearing you out. Yeah, you gotta not let other people dictate the vacation you want to be on. If you just want to sit down. And rejuvenate and sleep and take in some relaxing atmosphere. 
That's your prerogative. Sometimes being on vacation is more work than work. Yeah. And that's why I was like, this is crazy. My my sister, I love my sister, but when she's on vacation, she is just crazy. She is ridiculous. Eight o'clock in the morning, sipping on Hennessy White. Wow. Yeah. Eight, that seven o'clock in the morning, waking us up. Hey, let's go here. We got a great day ahead of us. Let's go. Uh, in the swamp and go watch crocodiles. No. Yeah, she woke me up at six o'clock saying, "Oh yeah, we're going to do the alligator boat rides." Uh, Cause I wanted to go, but then I didn't want to go at six o'clock. I was like, yeah, "None of them are gonna be up. There's not gonna be a lot of people. It was already two full boats and a whole bunch of people, and there was absolutely no alligators." Yeah. Stupid. 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 And we went to I a roller coaster park, park early. Wow. And the ride broke. Yeah, I roller coaster so park. I mean, the ride broke. Yeah, I just, I, I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I don't mean to shit on certain vacations, but I think, yeah. I think you got to find the one that works for you, and I think you have a good idea of which one does and which one does not. I love the Bahamas. It's Me very too. peaceful. I go there all the time. Yeah, there's not extremely that much to do out there. I have, um, my uncle passed away. God bless the dead, Uncle Noel. He was a he was a news and he was a, a weatherman in the Bahamas for many years, and um, wow. yeah, like I, I love the Bahamas, but it's like I went one time with an ex, and she just destroyed the Bahamas for me. I was just like, yeah, there's nothing to do, oh, no. and just made me like not want to go on vacation. So anyway, but yeah. I still like it, but uh, but yeah, fuck work. But vacations. I don't go to work. <laughs> yes, you don't go to work. Yeah. One day, one day you will go somewhere. I don't want a job. I want a career. That's right. You're gonna your your comedy career is already blowing up. You're gonna do your show where David's gonna direct it, but you're actually gonna be in charge. <laughs> I think it's like uh, oh God, what's that show? show? I don't know, but can, look, when it, when your career takes off, start an online uh, comedy channel, and then I'll do a show on it. How's that sound? Sounds amazing. Yeah, that's I'll amazing. You'll be one of the stars of the channel. Mm-hmm. I'm taking over. I'm traveling from channel to channel. I'm using the internet as my seven C's. To sail from land to land, plundering <laughs> and selling my wares, and <laughs> I'm like uh, I'm like Johnny Appleseed, and everywhere I go, I drop my little shows, and they grow. <laughs> That's right. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I have some bittersweet news. It is no longer the Googie morning. We have entered a Googie afternoon. No! This can't be true. It is true. I think we got to the bottom of a lot of uh, issues today. We found out that I'm going to die in a week if I don't watch 80 hours of Lord of the Rings. So I got to watch it double speed or something just to make it through all of it. I don't want the morning to be over. We pay tribute. <laughs> Another after another morning has died this morning. It's true, another morning. The morning always fades into uh, oblivion as the day progresses. But we shall remember that tomorrow another googie morning will begin. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and we will wake up smelling like booty booty. Booty booty. Oh, did you guys? Did you guys have another? You want to close out with another song? You want to do another song? I can make up one in the moment. <laughs> yeah, we can make up a song. What song? I would like to sing a song about Googie mornings. Every morning, a Googie morning it is. Every morning, a Googie morning begins. A googie morning always passes at 12. And it goes all the way 
to have. Morning is nothing but a morning. Morning is nothing but a morning. In the afternoon strikes at 12. At 12. And he kills his brother in the morning. And when he dies, he becomes a phoenix. And he rises at 12 midnight. But then after that 12 a.m., he falls again to throne. <laughs> falls again. And he is born. He's born. He's born the morning. Oh, oh. Not all, it just blacks out because I, I have it on power save. <laughs> I think that's the end of the song.